guys. So, um, got Christopher Run on the camera. Hey, guys. So, I recently decided, well, actually just today, decided that um, I actually would like to make a series on uh, offers I like. So, good uh, Christian offers. Now, this goes without saying that I'm not going to say the Bible because everyone should be reading that anyway. Um, right, Christopher? Yes. That goes without saying. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to make, you know... I would definitely say read the Bible before you even touch any of these books, but after you've read the Bible and after you've established a relationship with Christ, I would definitely recommend picking some of these books up and reading them. So we're going to start today with uh, Henry Morris. Now Henry Morris is a writer that I really enjoy. Um, this is just from his books. I have not done any additional research on him, just so you guys know, but just from his books I can tell that he's a very... He's very intelligent. He understands both true science and scripture. Scripture. Now, you guys know what I mean when I say true science. That's real science, not this evolutionary nonsense that they keep cramming down our throats. Mm -hmm. um, I've read three of his books so far over the past year and intend to keep reading more. I have read Biblical Creationism, uh, The Genesis Record, and Creation and the Second Coming. Now... Henry Morris, he's a very deep creationist. Just, you know, you got anyone who knows me knows that I'm a creationist, which is, you know, the truth. You know, and Henry Morris explains that. The Bible leaves no room for interpretation when it comes to creation. When it comes to Genesis 1, there is no room for it. There's no, you know, well, when he says days, he really means this undisclosed length of time. Trust me, because what I always tell people is, don't you think God was smart enough? When he wrote the Bible, like, don't you think he'd be smart enough if he meant something else, he would say something else? Yeah. You know, it, it's one of those things where I, I've never I've never fully bought it, this idea that, you know, each day means, you know, a certain amount of time, or day doesn't even mean day at all, it means age, because the context and all, it gives no room for that. If you read Genesis 1, it goes from day to day, day to day, evening and morning on the first day, evening and morning the second day, evening and morning third day. You know, there's no room for additional days. Now, just so you know, it says evening and morning because um, that's how days were measured in the Bible. It was evening to evening. And so, you know, a day actually started the previous evening. You know, that, that, that's not as important of a, to a topic as it is to discuss the fact that when it says days, it means for creation, it means six literal 24-hour days of creation and one day of rest. And again, you know, the context, it gives no clues otherwise. So I would definitely recommend checking out Henry Morris. Um, if I had to say which one I would recommend first, out of the three I've read, I would recommend Biblical Creationism first. Um, and the reason I would do that is, it's the first one I read out of his, and it, uh, he's very good at explaining a lot, and he goes through the entire Bible, so he goes book by book, and he explains, okay, so, it was never, you know, this idea that creation was inserted after the point, you know, that, that it's spoken of throughout the entire Bible. He makes the point of referencing creation in the Ten Commandments, of uh, referencing creation in, you know, the prophets, in Jesus' own ministry. You know, he makes a good point of, in order to have Christian faith, we have to establish it firmly from the beginning. And Jesus talks about creation, and so we know Jesus can't be wrong. And so, obviously, creation has to be the way God did it. Um, now, I fully intend to make videos about creation myself. It's just I would, would first recommend you guys read these, cause th these books. Because uh, Henry Morse, he, he explains it a lot better than I could. Um, Christopher hasn't really read any. That's why he's kind of staying quiet. Yeah. He hasn't read these books because he's not much of a reader. No, I hate reading. Yeah, you'll get used to it. But, no. um, you know, just, I would recommend if you're interested in learning more about creation, if you have questions, start with biblical creationism. If you want to see what I talked about the, with the pattern, you know, you see creation throughout the entire Bible. But also, you know, if you want more, like if, if, even that, you know, I would say read the Genesis record. And he's written a bunch of other books. He talks about, he wrote one on Job. He wrote one on the Psalms. He wrote a bunch. I haven't read them all yet. And that's unfortunate because he's a very good writer. I've just, 
I've got a bunch of different books I'm reading all at once, so it's hard to keep up with them all. Um, I recently just finished uh, Creation and the Second Coming. I think I finished that last month, and that was a good book. Um, I would really recommend read them, understand them. You know, he has good credentials. He's a very intellectual person. He knows what he's talking about. I'll say that. I won't say much because I don't want my opinion of him to influence you guys. But I would say start, you know, at, obviously the Bible first. Obviously. You know, that, that, that goes without saying. I shouldn't have to say it, but I'm going to say it. Bible first. But after you've read the Bible, I don't see a problem with reading other books. You know, and if you have questions, Henry Morris, he, you know, he understands those questions. He himself used to believe that you could mix evolution and scripture and it would work. And, you know, he came to the conclusion, no, it, it doesn't work. And that's, I myself used to believe that. And I've come to the conclusion, no, it, it doesn't work. You actually sit down and look, it's a mutually exclusive thing. Either it's evolution or it's scripture. It can't be both. Because either God is intentionally misleading people or God just didn't understand it. And either one of those is wrong because God can't lie. He talks about that. And... Mm -hmm. God's obviously smart enough to put what he wants. So if he puts, you know, days in Genesis, if he says he created stuff on each day specifically, then I'm pretty sure he created it specifically on each day. Um, like I said, I, I start with those. Start with biblical creationism. I would recommend that one first. Kind of just to get into it and stuff. If you have questions about creation, if you have questions about the pattern I mentioned... Um, and that's really not much else I can say. Um, I do want to continue. I have several other authors I intend to do more on. There's just a few of them. I need to actually read more of their books first. There's a couple I really enjoyed, but I need to read more of their books before I say something about them on here. And, um, if you guys would be interested, I could also start doing a, uh, series like this but on YouTube channels. I know s several very good Christian YouTubers that I would recommend for you guys. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. You got anything to add, Christopher? Um, I don't got anything. Well, I hope you guys have a good day. I'm going to try to upload this video today. I make no promises because our Wi-Fi is terrible and I just got a message this morning that we're out of high-speed data for the month. So I'll mm -hmm. try, but I make no promises. You guys have a good day. God bless you, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.